it's me, How To Hair Girl. So um, today I'm going to show you a great little technique for doing curtain bangs. Um, curtain bangs are like those perfect 1970s bangs that um, go so nicely with the center part. If you can imagine like Farrah Fawcett but not quite as wingy, curtain bangs start in the middle and they come down and they swoop back really nicely. They frame any face shape. Um, and they're a great bang to transition from trying to grow bangs out, which is where I'm at right now. My bangs are currently longer than they've ever been, I think. They're past my nose. I'm so proud of them. They've grown. But um, now they got kind of just hang in a weird layer right here. And it's not working for me. I don't really know. It's hard to style them. So it's time for curtain bangs. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Start with the center part here. So really, I mean, you can do curtain bangs basically on on bangs that are about tip of the nose length and longer. Um, it's it's also a nice technique to use with a haircut that already has some face framing in it because it will just go right in with um, some layers around the face. It's an easy one to DIY. So start from the center part like this. Get your shears. Boom. Now I'm going to start, I'm going to go about an inch and a half back from my hairline. That's about where my bang section is. So on both sides. And then we're going to drag the hair forward from that point. So you can see here that it makes sort of a triangular section with the center point being at my center part and each in that side corner is being at my hair right here. So this is my bang part. This is what we're going to be working on today. Let's split that in half. Start on this side. So, here's how I do my curtain bangs. I'm going to take this section here and I am going to comb it across my face to the opposite side, like so. So I'm holding it at this angle um, and it's, it's called over directing. So it's when you're pulling all the hair sharply over to the opposite side. So now if I cut this angle here, like so. And pull my fingers back. You can see it creates a line that starts here and kind of gets longer as it goes out. So it's kind of giving it that winged, winged shape. The other side, we'll do the same thing. So we're going to comb the section down and forwards like this, and then we're going to bring it across to the other side, hold it this way, we're over directing it, and we're going to make this a little cut. So now when we bring this back, you'll see how it's creating this sort of a shape. There's other ways to do curtain bangs, but this is how I've always done them. So, now I'm just going to do, I'm going to kind of blend those bangs in. So, my first bang section, each side was like this. I'm going to take a little bit of hair from behind it. And I'm going to do the same, just kind of pull it over over direct it to the other side and snip those little ends. And then we do the same on this side. Take a little more hair. Okay, now 
own to see the full effect of my new curtain bangs. I'm going to wet my hair, comb them, and let them dry, and then I'll show you how I now have this nice little curtain of bang on each side. Bye!